Hey guys, it's Miss Vosk. I'm here in the immersion shed and today we're going to give a 60 day update on our fog hashing immersion cooling unit. So we have six miners in here. We've had the unit for about 60 days now and we're going to give our initial thoughts, our review, the performance. We're going to go over everything from our thoughts about installation, how it's been running and what next steps we have with fog hashing. So like I said, this unit is the B6D. Um, it has since been discontinued with fog hashing, but they have a newer and better model called the C6. So both will hold six miners. Um, I'll kind of go into some of the differences between the two models uh, later in the video, but we're gonna jump in real quick and talk about the install. So now that we've had it for 60 days and we've done some other installs, this was by far the easiest immersion cooling install that we had. If I had to rate it on a scale of one to 10, I would give it a nine. And the only reason I would give it a nine was because of the immersion fluid. So we had dielectric fluid shipped in a massive barrel um, that was pretty hard to transport for us. It might be easier on more of like an industrial scale farm, um, but it was kind of hard to transport and it was hard to get the fluid from out of the tub into the unit. So luckily we had BMA here helping us with our install and they had a gas pump type thing that really helped us get it out of the, the tub and into the unit. So really that was the only kind of like hurdle that we ran into. Other than that, the install was super easy. Everything came like pre-assembled. The delivery was great, no damage. All the parts, everything inside the unit is pre-wired. So we didn't have to do any of that. Of course, we had to set up the wiring on our actual shed to where the unit is placed. Um, but other than that, it was super easy. I really liked how they had some nifty features like the handles on the miners that made such a big difference. Just lowering the miners into the kit because once you have everything, um, kind of lowering them in there, it, it gets a little difficult. Um, the only thing I will note here is this liquid looks yellow. That is actually because we used the gas pump that we used had a hose left over from an old DCX unit. So because the liquid sat in the hose for a while, it discolored a little bit, but the liquid when it came was very clear. So we were super impressed with everything that we've had um, in that experience, especially with the install. Some of the other installs that we've done, they shipped immersion fluid in five gallon tubs and those were much easier to maneuver. It's no secret. I love mining, which naturally means that I love or at least need mining rigs. That's where ASIC Marketplace comes in. They sell all different types of cryptocurrency mining rigs. They get them to me quickly, which makes the difference with my ROI. And you know what else helps the ROI? If you punch in the code VOSCOIN to save some coin the next time you order a miner from them. So far, the miners in the fog caching B60 have run very effectively, um, and we haven't had a single miner go down yet. We've been really impressed with the performance of it, and it's, I mean, it's cool right now, so we'll definitely keep track of how the unit is performing and cooling as we get into warmer weather. Um, just for today, it's 29 degrees Fahrenheit, which is just below zero Celsius. Um, so it is chilly. Um, so the unit will definitely need to work harder once it gets warmer outside. We do plan to install some exhaust and intake fans in here to kind of help move the air and keep it a little cooler in here. But that'll kind of be like the true test once we have um, warmer weather. We have noticed that some days there is a slight hum that comes from the fog hashing unit. It's not a huge deal and it's not loud whatsoever. It's just a slight hum that we hear from the pump. And sometimes it's we hear it and sometimes we don't. So we're not really quite sure. We we asked fog hashing about it. They suggested opening the panel and seeing if anything is kind of reverberating in there or touching or, or, or anything. And we weren't able to locate anything that was making that noise. Um, but that's definitely something we're gonna keep an eye on. Again, this unit is discontinued. So the new unit, we're told the C6 has a new pump and it's supposed to be 20% more efficient. So it will be working harder, but they say that the new, the new pump will be quieter. So that is definitely a plus for us. Again, again, this isn't a huge deal for us because we have the unit outside um, in a shed. It's not like in our living area. So it's the noise while very minimal still is not a huge um, factor for us. So this B6D unit holds six miners. We currently have one S19K Pro, 
two S19 XPs and three S19 J Pros in the unit. Uh, it's currently making $53 a day. Uh, that is before electric. So the current electric cost is about $35 a day to run the unit and the miners. So that includes the electric to run the actual kit as well as six miners. So we're looking at about $18 per day in earnings uh, or about $3 per miner right now. So that totals about $540 a month after electric. So that includes our electric cost taken out. And again, we run here on um, 10 cents per kilowatt hour. So not the, not the greatest electric rate. And we're actually working on getting three phase out here, which will reduce our electric rate significantly down to eight cents. So once that happens, that would reduce our operating costs to $28 a day and putting $7 a day back into our pocket. None of the miners that we are running are overclocked. Um, they're either running normally or we've actually downclocked them. And this is due to our electric restrictions and our electric capacity. So this helps us maximize our density so that we can run more miners um, given our electric constraints. And it also increases the equipment's lifespan. So because they're running not as hard, they'll hopefully last longer and they aren't running to death basically. So downclocking them helps increase our equipment lifespan because everything runs cooler. We'll mine less Bitcoin because of it, which is kind of controversial leading into the halving, but our biggest constraint right now is our electric capacity. So we do want to run more miners right now as we are holding all of our earnings that we're making until hopefully the next bull run. And again, we are working on three phase. We have an update from our ele uh, electric company. Um, so hopefully we'll have it up and running within the next year, which again will help our earnings. So we do have two different units running. We have the ball caching and the DCX. They're running about the same temperature within like one to two degrees, which kind of varies. So the fog caching unit is running at about 48 degrees Celsius. The fog caching has been extremely efficient. Um, the, again, comparing the two, this has six miners in it, DCX has eight, but the efficiency on this saves us almost $10 a day just running it um, because it is super efficient. So the biggest difference between the two is that one is single loop, fog caching is single loop, DCX is dual loop. So single loop, we have all of the liquid all the dielectric fluid that is actually being cooled directly. So that is the liquid that goes out, it comes back in, and that is cooled and put back in. DCX, on the other hand, has two separate chambers, basically, the dielectric fluid that's with the miners, and then the mixture of water and antifreeze that goes outside into the dry cooler and back in, and then that cools the dielectric fluid separately. So they're basically like touching and one cools the other. It's kind of complicated, but um, that's one major difference. So when you're buying a dual loop unit, you also have to factor in the cost of your antifreeze and setting that up. There's pros and cons to both. Um, for instance, if the single loop uh, system were to go down, from my understanding, I think you have to drain all of it out and then try to fix it, um, as opposed to this side where you would only drain out the antifreeze in the water and not have to drain your dielectric fluid. So just something to keep in center. Again, we haven't had that issue yet, so we haven't had to drain anything, um, but there's single loop and dual loop systems. This is the dry cooler for the fog caching unit. Um, one of the features that we have on the B6D dry cooler is that it has a water curtain. So we're not currently using the water curtain. It's meant to kind of help dissipate the heat in like more hotter environments. So we're cut, we have pretty much a mild climate here. So we haven't needed to use it, nor do we anticipate needing to use it. Um, so we just have it, um, we left it on, but we're not planning to, to use the actual water curtain functionality. But it does help keep all the leaves off of it, which is nice. Um, and again, the this unit will be discontinued but the new unit will have a more upgraded dry cooler as well. So it will have a 20% increase in the cooling functionality. Um, so it will not need a water curtain. So while we are talking about the C6, let's talk about a couple of the similarities and differences between the two models. So both units support six miners, both run on an EC fan, um, and more or less have the same accessories. Fog caching has said that the C6 will be at a lower price point, which is great for ROI because that's less money that you will need to make back from the mining endeavor to kind of recoup your cost here. The new C6 will be about $4,350, and that will include the tank, 
the dry cooler, the PDU, and the coolant. And again, you can use a third party option for the coolant if you would like. If you decide not to purchase coolant through fog hashing, there are some other um, sources that you can find. We do have a good resource within the US as well. We'll list that down below. But if you were to just get the tank dry cooler and PDU, it would be just over $3,000. So not too bad actually, and that's a reduced cost from this B60. And just to clarify, fog hashing did send us this unit um, to review, um, so we're super excited about that. And we have a C2 that they've also sent us um, that we'll review next. And we're excited to see their one of their units from the, the C series here. The price of those units does not include shipping, so that is going to be a pretty big cost, um, especially because it's a big system um, and it's definitely heavy, definitely a two person lift, um, but the shipping costs will vary depending on location, so I didn't include it here. So with the C6, uh, it will have a built in pump just like this one does, but it will be different. So I'm hoping that humming will go away. Um, it's supposed to be more powerful and quieter. And this is small, but the C6 will be white as opposed to the B60 gray. The C6 will also be primarily single phase, Whereas the B6D, uh, you can switch between three phase and single phase. And the C6 will have a plug, whereas this one is directly wired, um, where we had our electrician directly wire it to the wall. So that's a quick overview of our initial thoughts of the fog hashing B6D. Um, we're super excited to see a new version of their C series. We've loved working with fog hashing so far. Their support has been great. They're always communicative. Um, it's been honestly really a great experience. Our miners have been running great. We're excited to see how it does as temperatures increase outside. But overall, we've been really impressed with the fog hashing B6D and their immersion cooling system. So those are our initial impressions of the fog hashing B6D. Um, we've had a great experience so far. Our miners are working effectively in cooling and that's all you can ask for. We've also had a great experience with the fog hashing team. They're super nice and we just love what they're doing. Um, and we, we really like their product. It's super reliable, easy to install, and it's doing what it says it does. And we're excited to review the C2 next. So um, stay tuned for more video updates on these fog hashing units. Um, and thanks for watching.